Good morning, guys. This is Keisha Metcalf, and I'm a realtor with United Real Estate Infinity. And today I'm doing my second part in a series of what is happening in the real estate market in Southwest Florida. And today I'll be talking about the city of Cape Coral. Uh, the last time I did Lehigh Acres, and today I'll be doing Cape Coral. And so the information here that I'll be sharing today, it will be a comparison of what happened, what was happening in the real estate market in March 2019 versus March 2020. And we know that in March 2020, that's last month, uh, we were in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. And so the information here will show you really how the coronavirus is really affecting the real estate market in Cape Coral. And uh, the information only pertains though to single family homes. So it doesn't include condos, it doesn't include land, it doesn't include multi-family properties. All it, it focuses on is single family homes. I'm sure you'll find this information useful. And without further ado, let me share what I have with you guys. Okay, so let's start with the closed sales, the amount of closed sales that Cape Coral had in March 2019 versus March 2020. So in March 2019, there were 457 closed sales in Cape Coral. And despite, despite the, the, the coronavirus pandemic, there was a 19.3% increase to total 545, 545 homes that were sold in March 2020. So we see where the closed sales was not really affected by the coronavirus in the city of Cape Coral. Now, you can argue that sales um, is not really a true reflection of what is happening because in truth and in fact, these um, transactions would have been started processing from say January, February and closed in March. So a better metric, I believe, to compare what happened last year versus what happened this year, March, is um, pending sales. So let's look at that. The new pending sales. So for last year, in March 2019, there was 594 new pending sales for the month of March. And for this year, March, when we were in the, in the, in the midst of the pandemic, it was, it was 500. So we see where there was a 15.8% decline in new pending sales. And um, that, that is a, it's a bit expected. Um, it, it shows that there was some effect. The, the, the pandemic did have a little effect on home sales in Cape Coral. Now that is in contrast to what we saw happening with Lehigh Acres. With Lehigh Acres, um, there was a slight increase, I believe 3.2% increase in 2020. So you see that location does matter when it comes on to real estate, right? Okay, so now let's look at the new listings. New listings, and this represents new homes that are brought on the market. So for March 2019, there were 654 new listings in the month of March. And compare that to March 2020 this year, it was 543, and that was a 17% decline in, in new listings. So we see where, where sellers were a bit more hesitant, which is understandable, a bit more hesitant to put their, their property on sale in, in Cape Coral. Um, okay, let's look at the, the price. Let's look at the price now, the median, the average sale price. The average sale price, we saw where there was actually a 6.2% increase in the average sale price in, in Cape Coral because last year it was 286,327. That was the average sales price. But this year, we saw an increase where it went up to 303991 So 
so that was good the coronavirus did not have a negative impact on the average sale price of homes in in cape coral and and that is that is a good indicator now let's go down and look at the active inventory now the inventory is really the supply the amount of homes that are on the market in cape coral and we see this was we see that this was really impacted by the, the coronavirus because in March 2019, there were 2,428 homes for sale on the market in Cape Coral. And by March 2020, it went down to 1,770 homes. So we do see where the coronavirus has impacted the amount of homes that are for sale in um in cave coral and it just adds to remember just before the coronavirus we were what we were in a a seller's market where there was a an inventory crunch and we see where the the coronavirus has really magnified that inventory crunch and that too is reflected in the month's supply of inventory because Last year, 2019, there were, in March 2019, there was 5.9 months worth of inventory available. So 5.9 months. And this year, it, will, it went down to 3.9 months. So we really are in a seller's market where there is a shortage of homes on the market. And what that usually indicates, it indicates uh, an increase in home prices so i i really believe that once this this pandemic has passed that that pent-up demand for homes will come into play and we will see uh an increase in the in the prices of homes in 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 southwest florida and specifically here talking about cape coral so if you are thinking of selling um, think about if you don't want to list your property right now, think about what you can do to get your home ready. So when all this is said and done, your home is ready to hit the market and you are ready and prepared to, to list it and to make a, a quick sale. Oh, there was one figure that I, I need to mention, the median time to contract. And this is, this figure gives you how many days on average it takes for a property to go under contract from when it is listed to when somebody makes an offer that is accepted by the seller. So in, in 2019, that was 71 days and that actually fell to only 63 days in 2020. So how, excuse me, homes were selling faster in 2020 despite the coronavirus homes are, you know, last month in March, they did sell faster than they did in the year before. So that's an idea of what is happening. It, there are real figures shared with me by from Florida Realtors. So the, the figures are reliable and um, you can act on them. So if you have any further questions, please do not um, hesitate to contact me i will leave my information in the description bar as usual and you can feel free to ask me any questions and i will do my best to answer you so that's it for today keep safe keep positive and we will we will speak